This video is sponsored by Surfshark. I have never done this before, but I wanted to platinum this game so bad I made a new account just to platinum it again. And that is The Escapists. On my main account, I already have the platinums for Escapists 1 and 2. But at the minute, I'm working on some pretty huge platinums. As you guys know, I have the Arkham series planned. And there's a couple of other massive platinums that I'm slowly chipping away at through the months. I decided I want to do just a chill, laid-back platinum, and then I got the urge to play The Escapist. Having already done it on my main account, I made a new account just to get this platinum again, and I do not regret it. So here we are with The Escapist. Let's jump into it. So here we are, The Escapist, a game I've not played in a long time, but I'm excited to play it again. And let's get into it with the first prison, Centaur Perks. We're going to go orange hair, a guy named Wheaty. Let's do it. There we go, quick learner, complete the tutorial, lovely. That's a favour done, off rip. There we go, that's the trophy, wheeler dealer, buy an item of an inmate outside the tutorial. And also, I just realised, holy crap. That music is aggressively loud. So my focus is going to be working out, get the strength up, get the speed up to both 80. Should be able to get a quick trophy here with any luck. There we go, getting crafty. Craft an item outside the tutorial. Don't. Gens. Just stop, dude. You're never going to be able to beat me. There we go, let's get physical. Achieve stats over 80 for both strength and speed. Nice. Aha, there we go. Grey matters. Achieve stats over 80 intellect. Oh, it's because I'm too strong. I'm too strong. I've just knocked everyone out and opened the main gate. You know what else is too strong? The sponsor of this video, Surfshark. Now, while Wee might not have any problems with safety and security online, being that he's in prison for life, we do. Now, security is a huge thing for me. It's something I truly care about, and Surfshark VPN helps give me the peace of mind that I need when online. Now, Surfshark has tons of online tools to keep you safe. From masking your IP address, which is essential to becoming private online, a VPN can make sure that your city, country, and download history aren't linked to your identity, as well as protecting us against DDoS attacks. Which, while it's not something you run into every day, in the gaming world, it sadly happens way too often. When you're connecting via a VPN, attackers can only get the VPN server's IP, keeping your true IP hidden and safe, and more importantly, keeping you safe. But that's not all. Surfshark allows you to use the VPN to change your location, giving you access to tons of other content you wouldn't be able to access normally. For example, I love the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy, but while on the UK Netflix, I can't watch it. But by simply changing it to Germany and refreshing Netflix, I now have access to all of those movies, as well as some real classics like the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films, which I love. Now, Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out. You can use my code STUDY to get up to six additional months for free. All of this will be linked in the description below. Make sure you go and check it out. I, mean, I didn't need to do that, but it's just funny. But there we go. We escaped it somehow. But we're going to continue with what we were doing in, in that day. But that's hilarious. The fact that I literally am so strong, I didn't mean to. So I think the best bet is for me actually not to have a weapon. Because when I have a weapon, I am I'm killing people. I'm like actually battering people with something major. So it's probably best that I just don't have a weapon. So after that accidental escape, my focus was just to get all of the trophies possible in this first prison. Now, of course, you can do them throughout the other prisons, but I kind of just wanted to do them in this one as this is the easiest prison. Everybody is super weak. There is no issue when it comes to beating people up, doing favours, beating up guards is super easy. You can get away with doing so much in this prison because they're just not paying attention at all. Of course, there are some grindy ones like the Wet Bandit, like spend a month naked, like 20 days in solitary that you have to, you know, you have to get in a lot of trouble for, you have to get all of your contraband taken away. So you don't want to do that in those later prisons when contraband is really important. Whereas this one, 
everyone's weak. You're an absolute beast once you've got 80 strength. You can just batter everyone. For example, the wet bandits. In later prisons, you can't get into people's cells as, as quickly because there are cameras around. Some prisons don't even have the visitation things like this one, so I wanted to get this out of the way nice and early. The only trophy I had to go into the second prison for was the job one, and that's because the, the, I think there are eight or nine jobs in total. You can do half of them in this prison, and you can do the other half in the next prison, which you can see there in the snow. So I've got a lot of the trophies, I'm now onto the second prison, I have been playing in the second prison uh, just to get the job related trophy. I'm pretty sure this one I can get out now. So the first thing I need to do though is take that, take that, take that, take that and I'll do it with this and then equip that. Okay, horrendous fail there. That's fine. Alright, I've got eight of them with me. Okay, lockdown. Okay, well, this is no good because I need the purple key. Because the main gates are open, but I need the purple key. Purple key. Alright, and we should, in theory, be able to dash out of here. There we go. Prisoner of War. Escape Stalag Falooch. I think that's how you pronounce it. So that is the second prison done. Uh, that's a pretty easy one. You don't got to do much of anything with that one. The next one is Shankton State Pen. Let's do it. All right. So the biggest thing I need, I believe, with this one is a shovel. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to find where the main exit is. Oh, there's a midday roll call. Are you kidding me, bro? <sighs> I forgot about that. There's more bloody roll calls. Alright, I'm here, I'm here. So I'm starting day one again, because I feel like I now know the layout. Um, I also got up to like 99 heat there. I didn't I didn't want to risk that. So yeah, um, I, I know the layout now. I can go to morning roll call. Uh, I can be here. There we go. So I know the layout. I know exactly what I need. I should be able to get out, hopefully, in maybe two days. I'm hoping I can get everything ready in day one. I reckon it's actually going to take me about three days to get out as opposed to the two I was hoping. I was hoping to do it the evening of the second day, but I, I don't think it's going to be possible for me. Okay, there we go. 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 Okay, and then I will, just before evening roll call, I'll be able to dig my way out. Oh no, they found my thing. I wasn't focusing. Damn it. God damn it. They found my shovel in my chest. Ah, oh, you've I've always got to keep an eye out for who's getting checked always i always forget to keep an eye out for that damn it man and i've lost everything oh that is devastating absolutely devastating that is all right the sturdy shovel's been made let's have a check for the roll call see if it's us we should be okay hopefully and then i'm gonna get my i'm gonna just work out for the rest of the day so it makes digging even easier the following moron morons have a one a cell search. Let's have a look. Red and Anton. Not us. The heart doth be racing, guys. My heart is racing. Got three minutes to do it. 
tried to cover the hole up, but it didn't work. Okay, and then I've got to dig up here. Come on, just hope no guards come round and find the hole. Because if they do, we are screwed. Come on. We out, baby. There we go. Escape Shankton State Pen. The next one is a tough one. I know that for a fact. Jungle Compound. But if this memory serves me right, I probably can do it in 10 days, I think. I reckon I can do it in quite a bit less. But I know you have to get signed papers, which helps towards another trophy anyways. Okay. So, all right, let's do it. I'm going to get a bit of a lay for the land. If I remember rightly, I can... You don't need too much contraband in this one, I don't think. Well, I suppose I need to just make sure I don't miss more than roll call because there's... I mean, I didn't actually miss it. I was there, but... All right. We've got everything we need. I think. Yeah, I think so, because we need the wires with the fake fence. The knife should already be there. We've got the officer's uniform and the screwdriver, which will hopefully still be there. It's a bit stressful, this one, to get out. Like, you have to make sure you stick to the walls. You can't get caught off guard. Like, it is a bit of a pain, but it shouldn't be too bad. We should be all right. Okay, so. Feather, ink, three wires. Enough for a bed dummy. A knife to cut the thing. The, uh, the police guard uniform, that's what I meant. Uh, the screwdriver to get through the other wall. Is that still at 10% or has that been fixed? That's still at 10%. We've got that there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're set, guys. I think we are set for a day four escape. We should be all good. I'm here. I'm, I'm present. And I'm off. go profile off on right <clears throat> I was there for roll call we're gonna wait for lights out okay all right there is a lot of them Are you kidding me, dude? No f way, dude. Go f yourself. Of the highest order, go and f yourself. Ugh. Okay. Made it through that first bit. Okay. Okay. There we go. <sighs> so let's hang on. Look, we need to stick to the shrubbery. Stick. To the shrubbery. Boom! And out we go. Jungle is massive. Escape jungle compound. That's how it's done, baby. We've got two more prisons to go. I think one more big trophy, I think, off the top of my head. Uh, there's like dig like 50 holes in total. And this is the big one, San Pacho, Pancho. There's a lot of, um, of, uh, what's it called? Landmines, I believe, in this one. But yeah, we're going to get into this one right now. All right, guys, so we're in the prison, the San Pacho one. And there's a truck coming over. And it's gone. So now, so it's day eight, lights out. I just heard the truck come over because I have the music really low. 
Uh, I just got another trophy as well a minute ago. For digging it, which is for 50 something. 50 digging holes or something. I'm, I'm pretty stressed at the moment, guys. Oh my god, I'm too fatigued. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh no, they're going to bust me. <gasps> they can't see me when I'm in here. I just gotta wait. I just gotta wait. There's nothing else I can do. It's taken me eight days to dig that tunnel. It's a bit of a nightmare. I was gonna show more, but it really wasn't that fun. Like every day was the same. It was just grab materials, dig a bit of the hole at night, go to sleep. That's all it was. It wasn't super exciting gameplay. Uh, this is actually a fun map though, but it is like it's it's definitely funner for me playing because I know that I've got the stress of digging that tunnel. Boom! Deserter, let's go. Escape San Pancho. That was an interesting one. As I said, I didn't show you guys too much of that because it, it was just me digging a hole in my base and you have to dig for a long time. Um, and as I said, I also got the digging it trophy for digging 50 squares. So I think I ended up having to make like six or seven shovels, but it wasn't too bad. The final one is HMP Iron Gate. Now I know for this one, I need a grappling hook. I remember that I need a raft. I need something else. A screwdriver, I think. I think you can exit through the vents, if I remember. This one's a definitely a bit more challenging. I'm not going to lie. Of course, that's, that's obviously expected. There we go. So, you can see there, everyone has got security cameras. If I go in there, the camera spots me. So, that's... There's a, right there, another, uh, what's it called, contraband thing. And yeah, we got this, that's got contraband thing, that's a contraband thing, like, ugh, it's everywhere, going to the gym, this is, yeah, an ins absolutely insane one, um, there's definitely ways to best it, and best it pretty quick. Okay, so, here we are, day 10 of, uh, HMP Iron Gate, is that what it's called? I can't remember, um, we're pretty much set, we really are pretty much set at this point. I know what needs to be done. I am going to sleep once more. Every other prison I've risked it and been like, I could get the other stuff, you know, throughout the, the, the day if need be. This escape is so stressful, I don't want to risk it at all. Ah! The problem is there's two people called Wheaty and I'm one of them. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not me. It's not me. That's not that's not me, Wheaty. I've been Wheaty the whole game, and the, the toughest prison just so happens to have a second person called Wheaty. I mean, what are the odds of that? Seriously. Right, don't flush those items. Cool, that was close. So, yeah, there's a lot we have to do. We have to get on the roof. I have to, like, thingy. I have to get down using the sheet rope, get onto another roof using the grapple hook, get back down using the sheet rope, I'm pretty sure. Cut through a fence. Use the raft, get away, get the platinum. I also got this trophy right here for crafting every item earlier. I was going to leave it until like I was actually ready, but I just wanted to make sure that I had everything crafted as much in advance as possible. So this trophy was for crafting every craftable in the game. My heart, I can feel it in my throat. Okay, we're to safety. There should be a ladder somewhere. There we go. <sighs> and then if I remember right, there's a pipe. There we go. And then... God, I'm shaking like crazy. It's this way. <sighs> the escapist. We done it, boys. Successfully escaped from all six prisons. Runaway success. Escape HMP Iron Gate. Free man. There we go. Unlock all trophies. 
ignore ignore that that's because i'm on a new account of course so i'm like bronze level one so i'm just leveling up a bunch now of course i'm not going to count this towards like my total platinum because it is on a different account i just want to do this one for fun i really just wanted to play this game again it took me two days and according to my playstation it took me about 20 hours which all in all seems pretty reasonable there was a, so much that i remembered i didn't expect to remember so much but all in all, I really enjoyed it. I done all these prisons in one day. And obviously, yesterday I did the, the first one by accident, as you guys saw in the video. Uh, but all in all, a really fun one. Like I said, I had nothing to do at the end of this week. Uh, and I've there's there's some big stuff I'm working on. But I just wanted to do something fun, something light-hearted. So here we go, The Escapers. Uh, and in my opinion, absolute underrated classic. An underrated gem. Something that I, I think everyone should play. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a decent challenge. And it's a relatively rare platinum. But anyways, thank you as always for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.